Uh, so you release uh, your albums about uh, every two years. Mm -hmm. uh, are you still anxious when you release an album, even though you release a lot of them? It gets worse yeah. every time. <laughs> every time it gets worse. Oh. Uh, every, I mean, initially when writing the songs, I know intellectually not every song we make can be the best Sabaton song ever. But emotionally, that's what I want, you know? And there's always... A, when starting, I think I can't do this anymore. And then at the end of it, when I had almost all songs, I hate everything. It all sounds like shit. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I'm not a big fan of the starting process or the ending process of the songwriting, actually. Uh, I love to write music, though, in the middle of it, or, you know, before we actually start, just writing for fun, you know. And many of those things uh, turn out to be songs later. But it gets harder and harder every time because you cannot win. And I, this is nothing specific for Sabaton. Mm. Everyone who's in a band who, who writes a lot of the music will say the same. You can never win uh, because even if you make a very different album, to some people it's going to sound like nothing has happened. If you make an album that's the same, some people are even going to say, oh, it's cool, they did something new. Everybody perceives music differently. And everybody wants something different out of it. Uh, some fans would love for us to evolve and push uh, all the time out in, in a new direction. Some fans think that, no, I, uh, a Sabaton album, one of the reasons I love Sabaton is that I want that sound. And if that changes, uh, it goes away. And you can't really have both at the same time, but there also has to be some kind of evolution going on. So, I mean, I don't know if you know this, but there's usually one, two, three songs on every album that, you know, make a, you know, step outside of the comfort zone, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then we will see one year or two years later, if we like it and the fans liked it. And then we can incorporate more into that uh, direction if it worked out. Because otherwise we could push, trust me. Me as a songwriter, I, I'd like to push like a motherfucker. But there's also a, a direction uh, where we make two albums and four years later we run off so far uh, and realize that neither we or the fans liked it, where we ended up. Uh, so instead of running two albums in the wrong direction, it's better to, you know, for us to try and test the waters a little bit left and right everywhere and see where the music takes us. And for us, it's uh, also, you know, bit more difficult because everybody loves Sabaton the way Sabaton is and uh, at the same time everybody would like some more variations I mean it's not only that we have that from an outside we also have that inside in the band you know that so the, I mean the, the, you there are some examples where it actually really worked I would say doing something like the final solution or to hell and back different but damn that worked that's really nice you know uh, Wehrmacht. I loved it. Nobody else did. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we never know which ones is, you know, going to go in each direction. Okay. So, we, we, we found that yeah, evolution has to come slowly, uh, but there, there has to be evolution. Yeah. Okay.